the final building episode of a cute park. All we need to do, name this ride, path it up, throw down some flat ride scenery, maybe another path up this way, and then we're done. Which means next episode, we're gonna be riding all the rides. It's crazy to think how fast this series went. Yes, I made the park a lot smaller than I normally do, but I don't know, I feel like I've gotten a lot more work done with this park than I have in the other ones in a shorter time. That's probably not completely accurate, but that's what it feels like. It's a much more complete park that looks way better than any of the other parks that I've made, I feel. I don't know, I'm probably wrong. It's probably ugly, but hey, ugly is what I aim for. Now, the name for this ride, well, Let's take a look at the comments. Oh look, there's a comment from YouTube user Stickskinny12. Coaster name, finally coaster. Since totally can't spell, let's mock him. 20 thumbs up on that one. And some of you may be confused as to what that means. Well, when I first put that video out, it's called the final coaster of a cute park. It was five o'clock in the morning. I put finally instead of final. Autocorrect doesn't correct words that are spelt correctly if you misuse them, and I didn't catch it, and other people caught it. I fixed it, but there we go. So, finally coaster it is, you know what? Fine, finally coaster. It's a great coaster that freaking has a backstory, you're escaping everything, and it's called finally coaster. You know what, you know what else? Well, 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 look who just happens to be peeking out from behind this railing. It's none other than Stick Skinny 12. Well, Stick Skinny 12 with 61 cents to your name, guess what? You are now banned from a cute park. I hope the comment was worth it. <laughs> anyway, let's rename, let's rename the signs on this thing. Unpause the game. Ride name. Edit building with select part. As the game explodes. Uh, finally, coaster. There you go, finally coaster everyone. Finally. Finally coaster. It's finally coaster. There you go, we finally coaster. Paths. I don't know how I'm gonna do paths at all. Uh, coaster's kind of in the middle of nowhere. We have somewhat of a path down here, which I can't see actually bringing this up anywhere. And then over here, we might be able to bring something. If we could attach here to here, and then attach here to up here, I think that'd be pretty solid. Because right now, this entire section of the park is like the only park, only park of the park, part of the park park, park 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 park. That doesn't have any path. Over here could probably maybe get a path, but it doesn't need it. But yeah, we need a path this way. And you know what, who cares? We're just gonna plop one down. We're gonna try to stick to the side of the mountain as much as possible. If the... I just love how the path tool, look where my mouse is right now, next to that garbage can. For some reason, the game thinks I want to put path two billion feet away in the corner of my screen. Why? <laughs> Why are you like this? Oh my god. Path tools in this game, I will always say it, are absolute butthole. It's the definition of butthole. I'm doing the exact opposite of what I wanted to do. I said I wanted to stick along the side of the hill. So let's stick along the side of the hill. Or try to, at least. Okay. Remember, we're going to try to get some more flat rides in, too. I don't know why. Just to fill in the areas, I guess. More flat rides means more work that I have to do in the video of riding everything, because we have to ride everything. Flat rides are included in everything for some reason. Don't know why, they just are. <laughs> I'm gonna come over this way. That's the exit. That is beautiful. I don't think I've ever seen it break like that before. Neat. <laughs> I hate it. I, ha I gotta fix it. I don't like it. It's disgusting. That is, that's also disgusting. I hate that just as much. Is there any way that I can like just bring this path in front and just it's probably not going to work, but we're going to try. So it would be like... Oh, crap. We have the... That's not going to work. We also have the entrance to worry about. Is there any chance I can connect these two paths? 
I don't like how far off the hill we are here. I don't think it's going to be possible. I really don't. There's no way I'm going to get past this tangled mess of path. No way. Unless... No, there's no way. <laughs> Wait. Unless... No way. There's no way. Un... <laughs> done. I think we might be able to do it. We'll see if we can attach the uh, that path to there. No, it's supposed to be super stairs. We're so close to making this work. I just want this to work. How? How on earth did we narrowly miss that? Oh my god. We're gonna do it. We're actually gonna freaking do it. You've got to be kidding me. And then we can't get past here. Well, it was a nice dream. Hold on. We're not done yet. Perfect. Beautiful. Exactly what I wanted. Not really. Okay, we're gonna go this way with it. And then... Oh my god, we're gonna do it. We're gonna freaking do it. Boom! Connection. It's bizarre, but it works. All right, the last thing we need to do is hook that up to over there, and we beat the game. Go over one more. Start to descend. I don't know what height we're at. That looks good enough. Just attach right there. Of course. Of course it's not going to work. There it goes. We freaking did it. That actually looks a lot better. Oh no, it just feels like it needed that streak of blue. Like it was missing it. Sweet. Okay. Good. There's a lack of orange queue lines around here, but whatever. Now all we need to do is put the exit. Come on. Attach, attach to the... Attach to the ride. Just attach to the ride. Okay, good. And then the queue line will look something like... Probably really ugly. I doubt anyone's going to ride it because people don't like to ride my rides because they're terrible. Perfect. Okay. And then we just need the priority pass. Someone left a comment somewhere. Was it on my stream? I think they commented on a stream. I stream, by the way, on Twitch, in case you want to know. Um, they said that you can put a priority pass down and essentially make them queue forever. Because for some reason, they don't get angry in priority pass lines. So what you could essentially do is have this just wrap around the entire park, go nuts, and then just attach right next to it. So people with priority, priority passes would literally be for suckers at that point, which is hilarious. So in case you want a long queue line, and you don't want your people complaining that's a long queue line, do that. And they'll be fine with it. How great is that? I've never tried it. Don't know if it works, but apparently it does. Beautiful. The ride is open. Okay. How many other uh, rides do we need to open? I don't think any. I think we're good. I think I got them all. Look at this happiness. 99%. They're all hungry and thirsty and tired, but that's because that's just the way they're programmed. They're programmed to be dumb. There, I don't think there's any combating this at all. It's just gonna happen. Uh, let's see. Scroll down here. That's broken down, but everything's open. 37. We were at 37 rides. I'm gonna add a few more flat rides, and then, you know... I, I want to say Pancake Park had 50? But that number seems low for Pancake Park. If this place has... This is, if this park is gonna have close to 40 rides, I feel like Pancake Park had a lot more than just... 50. I don't know why. Anyway, let's look at some flat rides that have scenery attached to them. So all the ones with stars are the ones we've added. A cute flat ride. This, I think, is the elixir machine, if I remember correctly. It is indeed the elixir machine, made by Steel Vengeance. That's a name I've never heard before. What are the odds of that? <laughs> it's a 
joke. It's a joke. It's a joke. Steel Vengeance is the one who made the majority of the themed <laughs> scenery things in this park. For those of you who have literally not seen any other episode of this series. Where the hell am I going to put this? I don't know, I kind of put path everywhere where I thought I'd put flat rides. Hmm. I want to put it here, but it's going to float a little bit. Plus go-karts. I guess it's fine. It'll work. There's a lot of people walking around. I don't know where they're going. Are they leaving? Okay, I literally clicked the guest. Come on. Toadzor. Skies 2. Look at their ratings. They're all going to Toadzor. These people are dumb. They don't choose to eat from these freaking places. What the hell? So all the people are going to either Toadzor or the other restaurant. This place is minus 2,400 people. Zero customers last month. So all these clowns are literally going to our restaurants that are going to be full. They're literally coming to this park to eat at restaurants. Forget riding rides. Hold on a second. Let's look at this. <laughs> Thank God, the series is over. Most profitable shop. Hotel Toadzor. Most profitable ride. Shape and drive. Tell shape and drive. Oh, it's the car ride. I didn't even realize it had a name. Shape and drive. Look at that. All right. Um, I want to look at thoughts. Park's great. The scenery, very spacious. Wow, great scenery. Look at that. The high acute restaurant is a fancy restaurant. I'm thirsty. Toads are eateries are prestigious. And I'm going to go on aeronauts. I need their actions, not what they're thinking. I don't think I can see their actions because this game is not as good as Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, which came out many, 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 many years ago. <laughs> Throwing buckets of shade. <laughs> oh man. Not gonna lie, I'm pretty sure Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 had a better management system. At least you can actually, you know, like, get in depth information on all your guests, every single one of them, which was really nice. And uh, this one, you cannot do that at all. In fact, you can get barely any information from them, just what a lot of them are thinking at one time. Cool, my ride disappeared. Um, let's try that again. Rotate this around. We're just plopping this right here. Why? Why not? Slide it over. It's in the path. Should probably make sure it's not in the path. <laughs> there. There. Lift it up. Okay, we'll put the exit here, the entrance there. It's slightly above the go-karts. It's fine. I'm not going to pull the entire walls down. I'm too lazy for that. That better be the entrance. Oh my god, it is. It's like... I don't queue. It's like they knew. Perfect. Okay. Uh, now, we need to move this to here. Come on, queue line. Thank you. Thank you for working. Watch this. We'll be all sneaky with it. And we'll bring it around here. Ho ho. Bet you didn't see that one coming. It's beautiful. Okay. That ride is open. Now. What rides do we have? So that's that one done. We have the entire top row. We have the... Wait, we have the Rocktopus? We don't. I think I favorited this one to add it to the park. And then I didn't realize that I switched my thing around, so... Yeah, we have to add this one. We can put this over here. It's above the... Boob sled, but... It's fine. Hold on, we gotta try to make it perfectly lined up. I feel like... <laughs> I don't think we're gonna be able to. I feel like it's a little crooked. The roof's not attached on the front. It's fine. Don't worry. It's great. Um, it's a octopus. You can't go wrong with a octopus. Okay. Connect that to the thing. Is anyone going to ride it? Probably not. We have too many rides, and I hate the guests. And they hate me. Clearly. There we go. Rocktopus. Boom. So what have we done this episode? Two rides in. Path done. 
perfect. Um, <laughs> we should probably get paths, or paths, benches and garbage cans in these other sections that I just made. And we should probably move that garbage can. Also, I'm sweaty, in case you wanted to know. For some reason, during these videos, probably because it's really hot in my room, and I have my lights on, and I'm flailing around like an idiot, it gets kind of hot. <laughs> Put that garbage can there, and there, and every five freaking feet. You know these people are dumb and will go out of their way to pollute your freaking park. There are actually people using this path. Look at that. I wonder how much money we could be making if I took the, um... There's no benches down here. So, yeah, that's the thing. People are exhausted, yet none of them are using benches. See that? See how there's a billion benches up here, but no one's sitting on them? Like I said, I haven't seen a single soul sitting on a bench this entire playthrough. So, forget benches. I'm not going to waste my time putting them down if no one's going to use them. How dare you ruin my point, guy? Sn I, you want me to figure out how to pronounce that? I'm kicking you out just for your name. Snows the second. Oh my god, there he is! <laughs> the freaking security guard Naruto ran over to the guy. Yeah, that's right. Get out of here. That's what you get for sitting on the bench after I just said no one was sitting on benches. Yo. This happy family doesn't get a pass either. You're gone too. Get out. Yeah, you can't get off the bench quick. Yup, you're gone. Now the security guard's right over here. This is perfect. Where'd he go? Oh! Busted! Get out of our park. I love how sad they get. <laughs> He's gone mad. He's just kicking everyone out. Oh, look how angry this kid is. Yo, they're so upset. How dare they ask me to leave when I've done nothing wrong? They'll pay for this. This is the little kid that's saying this, by the way. Hold on. Damn, they are, they are booking it out of here. Look how freaking angry they are. Well, maybe you shouldn't have sat on that bench. I don't know what you mean. You haven't done anything wrong. Yeah, you sat on a bench. Freaking idiot. Also, this lady looks like she has a balloon for a head, and that's actually awesome. <laughs> Because it's the same exact color as her shirt. Alright, who else? I want to see what... The other kids are saying the same thing. They'll pay for this. They'll pay for this. I think they're all just saying it. Yeah, get out of my park, you clowns. Okay, what do we got? That kind of filled in that area. Cool. Um, Any more flat rides that I could put down real quick? And I think we got them all. Yeah. I think we got all the custom flat rides. Wait, what about the spinning guy? Is that what's in here? Okay, yeah, Swift Drifters, that's what it is. It's a very popular ride, as you can tell. <laughs> very popular. Wow, look at that. We did it, everyone. We beat the game. I could plant trees everywhere. I may do that. I don't know. I get very lazy. Scenery. What other scenery can I throw down quick? Let's see, um, I'm not going to pick ones that have crazy, crazy stuff on them, like the flood zone. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why is this a thing? It's just water effects on a path. Um, this one's great. This can go somewhere. Welcome to a cute park. Let's put that up here. We have a welcome sign downstairs. We need one upstairs. And plus... It belongs at the top. You know, you're driving up, you look over, and you just see a giant toad next to the giant pyramid in between the giant box. Actually, better yet, let's put it over here. Do I want it facing the path, or let's do it, let's do a little bit half and half. There we go. Oh my god, it's glorious. This was made by Steel Vengeance. I knew that, but I just had to, you know, show it. Here's an acute angle that we could put randomly somewhere. It's not attaching to anything like I hoped it would. Is there a snap to surface or am I just losing my mind? This is for a cute park. I don't know who made it. We'll never know. It's a mystery. Or it could be an A. Or it could be chopsticks. 
Or it could be nail clippers. This shape, there's endless possibilities for, and I love it. Oh, here we go. This rooftop is perfect and flat. So when you're flying over in a helicopter, bam. Acute. Okay. Uh, what else? What is this? Acute entry horror. Right, we never made that horror zone. It's a real nice entrance. I don't know where we would put it. We run into the problem with this because... Like I've mentioned, well, like I mentioned with a lot of these other buildings at random points throughout the series, uh, we're on a slope. <laughs> so if I want to put this on a path, half of it's gonna be floating. The only place this would work is at the very top. And you know what? We actually have a spot for it. Right here. You want a cute horror? Guess what? Here's your cute horror. <laughs> this freaking coaster here that's horrifying. Perfect. The perfect spot. Okay, I'm glad that I looked at this. So I guess we'll slide this that way. Do a little bit of a rotate. It's perfect. Okay, good. This was made by... Jacob! There you go. What's this? This is a hotel. I love this building. We're definitely adding this. It's a nice little building. It's perfect. Where can I put this thing at? Right there. Perfect spot. Every morning you wake up as this coaster comes screaming around this corner. It's perfect. That hotel also was made by... Jacob, too. Look at that. We have a bunch of arches that I've never used, I don't think. This one was made by Airtime Flow. We can put this bad boy right here. This arch was made by... Oh, dear God. It was made by Steel Vengeance, and it is... Look at the legs on this one. It's... Mm. I get why it looks like this, so I can use it on the hill. And I can place it just about anywhere on the hill and it would work. It's actually kind of nice. So we'll just put this one right here. Am I speedily trying to get as much of the stuff in the park as possible? No, it's not me. This is another arch, probably made by Steel Vengeance, judging by the legs on this. P.S. LOL. LOL indeed, my friend. LOL indeed. <laughs> We're gonna put this one. Ooh, right here's a good spot. This arch is insanely too big, and, uh... <laughs> see, it goes through the ground and hits the outside limit at the bottom. So, that much of it will be sticking out of the ground. Therefore, it's 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 too big. I could put it all the way up here, but it's, it's fine. What else do we have? We have this piece of arch made by Airtime Flow, which connects... Um, it can connect with that one, so it's like you could have, uh, have them over the path, which is really cool. Um, we don't really have any section where I could put this. That's a lie we do, right here. It's also apparently made out of money. If you shake it, you can hear it. <laughs> put that there. And then the other side would be right here. Look at that. So you would do that down the whole stretch, which is really cool. Um, ATM, I think we have this ATM somewhere. This is made by Airtime Flow 2. We'll just plop that next to the other ATM that doesn't get used. What else? This ATM we have. Bobsled Station. A claw machine that just has an explosion effect on it. The trees. We put the trees everywhere. Um, this tree was made by Energy. I'm pretty sure I placed that one somewhere in the park. I think I've placed every single tree. Some stations. Ooh, a sign. Who made this sign? Steel Vengeance. Text this way. Right. I don't know where I would put this with the way it's angled. I could just put it in the ground. Boop. There is text that way, so there you go. Oh, you made it to the top sign, which I added. Right. I completely forgot. This sign was made by... Steel Vengeance. What about this sign? A cute park. There's a lot of words on this one. I thought I added this one. I guess I didn't. Here's a sign for a cute park. I based it off the sign you showed in the Onion Ring episode. But add your name and a couple coasters. Love your vids by Ewan Ross or Coaster Extra on Steam. There you go. I gotta place this thing. I don't know where to place it. Well, they said it was during the Onion Ring episode, so let's place it by the Onion Ring. This area of the park doesn't get much love. There we go. Oop. Rotate it too much. 
perfect. Okay. Here's a toilet. Ooh, that's a pretty good toilet, actually. Made by Airtime Flow. Coming in at $10,000. Uh, assuming this path is pretty popular, let's just put it over here. There you go. The beautiful statue o toadlet that I featured in the previous video. Forgot to show who made this bad boy. It was made by... None other than Steel Vengeance. A statue in which all your guests shall worship upon entry into the park made by Steel Vengeance. There you go. <laughs> when in doubt, Steel Vengeance made it. <laughs> okay, so all these trees listed here were made by Awesome Andy. This one. And then the rest of these trees are airtime flow. I just went through them one by one, and yeah, they were all made by airtime flow. All these trees are in the park somewhere. I probably will spread more of them upwards, but that's not gonna happen on video. The triangle guy, he's somewhere too. I don't know where I put him, but he is in this. Oh, he's up here. It's like a where's Waldo. There he is, triangle guy, made by energy, 7373. This trigonometry graph, which is amazing, is over here on the, uh, I put it on this thing, because it's it goes up on an angle. I thought that was pretty cool. So it's like you'd find the length of the hypotenuse, which is the arm of this uh, ride. And the trigonometry sign was made by... I don't know, because apparently the description just says a fun math problem for Toadlet's Acute Park. And I think that's gonna do it. Everything else I've either shown in a different episode, or I didn't even bother adding to the park. There was a lot of stuff, you know, with explosions. I'm like, you know what? I'm trying to watch frame rate here. I don't need something exploding every 10 milliseconds. But, uh, yeah. If your stuff didn't get added to this park, there is always a next park. So don't worry. I will keep on adding custom stuff because, honestly, I love doing it. One, I don't have to create the scenery. Two, you guys can contribute more to the series and be more included, which is awesome. And it just, it's great. And with that, I think I'm gonna end this episode here, which means next one will be riding all the rides. Next one or two, I don't know. I might need to split it depending on time. Who knows? But yeah, it should be a good one. So, thank you all for watching. Leave a like and share the video if you enjoyed the help it a lot. Subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you next time.